हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू माय चैनल मैथ्स क्लब आई एम दीपांजन कुमार दे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक डिकम्पोजिशन थियोरेम ऑलरेडी वी हैव डन डिकम्पोजिशन थियोरेम व्हाट इज डिकम्पोजिशन थियोरेम टुडे वी आर डूइंग ए प्रॉब्लम न्यूमेरिकल्स यूजिंग डिकम्पोजिशन थियोरेम using decomposition theorem we have to find the chromatic polynomial of the give of a given graph and hence we have to find chromatic number chromatic number this is very important topic for btech bca mca mtech msc gate and net exam very important topic very important topic so i have taken a problem find the find the chromatic polynomial of the graph this graph is given using decomposition theorem using decomposition theorem so how to apply decomposition theorem we know with the help of decomposition theorem we can find chromatic polynomial and chromatic number of a graph okay so let let g b a g b a graph g b a graph that is g equal to g equal to this graph i have taken okay this is a this is b this is c and this is d let this is the graph g okay <coughs> and you see the non ad non adjacent edges non adjacent edges of g is a and c i am taking be careful i am taking this graph as g not this graph be careful we have to find the chromatic polynomial of this graph okay so this this is the graph i am taking as g okay so the two non adjacent two non adjacent adjacent two non adjacent two non adjacent vertices vertices a and c a and c so g dash g dash is a graph g dash is a graph g dash is a graph is obtained by joining two non adjacent edges that is i am just joining the two non adjacent edges this is a b c d and by joining a and c two non adjacent edges two non adjacent edges a and c by joining these two non adjacent edges we are getting g dash we are getting g dash okay so this is g dash so by joining two non adjacent edges a and c and by merging g double dash what is g double dash g double dash equal to g double dash g double dash equal to by g double dash is obtained obtained is obtained by merging m e r g i n g by merging the two non adjacent adjacent edges non adjacent vertices sorry vertices non adjacent vertices a and c that means we are we will get g double dash a equal to c a equal to c this is b 
and this is D. This is Z dash. Z dash is obtained. G double sorry. Z double dash is obtained by obtained by merging the two non-adjacent vertices A and C. That means A and C by merging. Then the figure is hmm, by merging A and C of graph G of graph G. Okay. So here G dash is obtained. You can write is obtained. Obtained is obtained by joining by joining A and C of G. Okay. So now understand what is G? G is this graph. What is G dash? G dash is obtained is obtained by joining two non-adjacent vertices A and C. Non-adjacent vertices A and C. Okay. And G double dash. What is G double dash? G double dash is obtained by merging the non-adjacent vertices A and C. By merging A and C. Okay. So now you you can write you can write what is what is the chromatic polynomial? Therefore, the chromatic polynomial of we can write by we can write now. Therefore, therefore by decomposition theorem. Decomposition. Position. Decomposition theorem. By decomposition theorem, we can write. We can write. We can write chromatic polynomial of G lambda is equal to chromatic polynomial of G dash plus chromatic polynomial of G double dash lambda. Okay, this we can write. This we can write. Chromatic polynomial of G is equal to chromatic polynomial of G dash lamb G dash plus chromatic polynomial of G double dash. This is the decomposition theory. Now you see what is the chromatic what is the chromatic polynomial what is the chromatic polynomial of G? What is the chromatic polynomial of G? What is the chromatic polynomial of G? Because G is a G is a you see G is a tree. So chromatic polynomial of G is chromatic polynomial that is a pop g lambda is equal to lambda into lambda minus 1 to the power 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 that comes lambda into lambda minus 1 to the power 3 why this this is the chromatic polynomial we know the chromatic polynomial of a tree is of a tree having n vertices is lambda into is formula what is the formula lambda into lambda minus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 this is the formula of chromatic polynomial of of tree of n vertices here is three vertices four vertices of g so chromatic polynomial of g is lambda into lambda minus 1 whole to the power n minus 1 similarly you see this is this in g dash in g double dash Chromatic polynomial. This is also a tree having 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 three vertices. Therefore, chromatic polynomial of G double dash lambda G double dash lambda equal to equal to lambda into lambda minus one to the power three minus one. Why three minus one? Because there are three vertices. This is also a tree. So lambda min n minus one. So three minus one. Now just putting the value of putting the value putting the value uh, f g lambda f g lambda is equal to lambda into lambda minus one to the power three is equal to f g dash f g dash lambda plus lambda into that is lambda into lambda into lambda minus one all square lambda into 
lambda minus 1 whole square. Therefore, f g dash lambda equal to lambda into lambda minus 1 whole q minus lambda into lambda minus 1 whole square. Be careful, whole square. So, from this, we can take lambda into lambda minus 1 whole square, we can take common. So, lambda minus 1 minus 1. That is lambda minus this can be written as lambda into lambda minus 1 whole square into lambda minus 2. So, this is the f g dash lambda. So, this is the this is the chromatic polynomial of of the graph g dash of the graph g dash. What is g dash? You see, I have taken this graph is g dash. So, chromatic polynomial of g dash. This is the this is the this is the given graph. This is the given graph. This is this. This is g dash. G dash I have taken. Okay. This is g dash. So, chromatic polynomial of g dash is this. That is the given graph we have to find. Now you see, so for what values of lambda we have to find the chromatic number. So, f of g dash 1 is equal to, you see, 0. If we put a lambda equal to 1, this becomes 0. f of g, g dash 2 is equal to also 0. If we put lambda equal to 2. If f of g dash 3 you see, if we put 3, then 3 minus 1 whole square into 3 minus 2. That means uh, 3 minus 1, that is 2. Uh, 2 into 3, that is 6. Not equal to 0. Uh, sorry. 2 is a 4, 4 or 3. 12. This is 12. 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 square is 4, 4 into 3, 12. Not equal to 0. So, g dash 3 not equal to 0, that is for lambda equal to 3, then g dash 3 not equal to 0, therefore, chromatic, chromatic number, chromatic number of g dash is 3, because lambda equal to 3, so this is the minimum value of lambda that chromatic polynomial not equal to 0. You can say therefore chromatic number of g dash is equal to 3. Okay. So this is chromatic number. How to find chromatic number? You see, we can put the value of lambda equal to 4. Then it, it if we put lambda equal to 4, then this not equal to 0, this not equal to 0. Because we are taking lambda equal to 3. Why? Why? Because we have to take the minimum. What minimum values of lambda that chromatic number? chromatic polynomial not equal to 0. So, this is 3. Okay. okay. So, 3 is the chromatic number of graph G. Understand? <coughs> I think you understand very nicely. So, I have uh, uh, I have uh, taught this very easily. I think no problem. So, if you like this video, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button in my channel Math Club. Thank you very much.